All right, welcome to a brand new video of the target individual program, the target individual experience. Uh, I'm going to show you guys another way in how they target me in the home. All right, so I woke up this morning. Uh, actually, not this morning, I just really got out of this this morning, it was a little bit after nine. Um, came to use the bathroom to brush my teeth and you know, to get ready to make breakfast. To, because uh, I have class. Came in the bathroom, right, to brush my teeth, and I want to show you guys something. Okay, this is this is how they use, uh, particularly when it comes to my my niece. Uh, she's the mother of of one, um, and she has not done this in uh, over a year, but she used to do this all the time, right? When they when they used to get her to target me, I get up in the morning. I come in the bathroom. This is this is what I see. I see see this. Okay, see all this here left on the bathroom in the bathroom sink here on the bathroom sink and in the bathroom sink. Sink, right? Okay, and so the reason why they do this and the reason why, um, like I said, when it comes to women, how they're always playing with their hair when it, whenever they see me or you know some other. Hand signal they'll usually do, but particularly when it comes to playing with their hair. So when you think about it, right? The hair, right? H A I R and hair, right? Like till here, when you hear something, is H E A R, right? Two two words spelled differently sound similar. Okay. So again, this is again because of the coercive persuasion program, right? So they want exactly for they want you to in the coercive persuasion program if you don't adopt the behavior that they, um, hold on a sec, let me, if they if you don't adopt the behavior of which they're trying to condition you to, and a lot of it for TI it, it is um, you know negative. Okay, right? So because it's negative, so because like what happened yesterday with my targeting and stuff like that last night also with the noise campaign right um i end up calling pam right this was at 2 a.m in the morning because i was like let me see if her phone is going to be working because all night i've been trying to call she hasn't i told her i said I, i'm gonna call she, you know my, my thing is like when i spoke to her early earlier this was like um after minutes after seven or what have you and we, we were speaking very cordially you know and I told her I was going to call Ethan because I know his phone was off. So she was like, yeah, you, okay, you do that, what have you. So when she gets in the house, she, she could have said, hey, Ethan, your dad's been trying to call you and your phone is off. Right? This is a point that I didn't make last night, which I should have made. Right? Because I've been trying to call him all day, his phone was off. I did call him. He picked up. He's like, my phone's at 0%. And, you know, that was it. Right? So now... Again, so I said that. So I call her to him. She, she picks up the phone now. She picks up the phone. So I said, Hey, what happened? I've been trying to call you uh, all night because I'm, I couldn't get in touch with Ethan. His phone was off, what have you. I said, Did you turn off your phone? She's like, no, I don't know what you're talking about. Nothing happened. I said, What do you mean nothing happened? I've been calling you, calling your phone, going to voice message. Look, if you're on the phone, you're talking to somebody, you don't want to be disturbed. Maybe that's the case. I said, You don't have to do that. All I just, I was calling to say, Hey, Ethan's phone is still off. And, you know, can you let him know so he can turn around so I can speak to him and his sister? Oh, um, you know, I, I didn't, uh, uh, I didn't do anything. What have you? So, so, okay, so your phone just, just uh, after I just been spoke speaking to you now, half an hour later, I said, okay, because you were out. I said I called Ethan. His phone was still um, going to voicemail. I called him twice. Then I call you back to let you know that his phone is still off, and I, you know, and then your phone is off now. Your phone goes straight into voicemail. Oh, I didn't do anything and, and such and such. I might. Like, you see these these games that women play. You know what I'm saying? Because they made decisions that now they either regret or, you know, because again, they don't, you know, but I, I'm not getting into that this morning. Anyway, so that was the whole thing. So now I wake up this morning now. And like I said, my niece used to do this all the time. All the time. And I've talked to, I spoke to my sister about it, right? And now she's back to doing it. Why? Because of what happened yesterday and last night. Okay? I mean, that's, let me tell you, these are grown women. Grown women. Okay? And they.
Look at this shit. Look at this shit. Like no consi- no consideration. No consideration. No 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 thought of oh, let me clean this up. You know what I'm saying? Nothing. This is the same shit that Pam is doing. Pam is 45 years old. Okay? My niece is, what? She's probably about 29 now? Or maybe even more than that. Probably in her, in her early 30s now, probably. Okay? Yes. These are the type of women that are being, that are being raised by single black women. Go figure. 